Hi, this is Mark Spoonauer with Laptop Magazine, and we're here with the HP Compaq Mini Note PC. And uh, we're sort of calling it internally the, the rich man's low cost laptop because it offers a lot more than the competition. Starting with this really sleek uh, all aluminum casing, which is really durable. Now, this device was manufactured, it's being designed for the education market, but it has a lot of crossover appeal, and we're about to show you why, why especially with mobile professionals. So you open this thing up and you get a pretty large 8.9 inch display. And you can see that the, that the resolution is uh, relatively high. It's, it starts at 1280. And there's a lot of desktop real estate. I'm gonna give you a tour of the rest of this, but the, one of the other imp really important highlights is the full size keyboard. So full size in this case means 92%, but it's a huge difference compared to other mini notebooks like the EPC, because you really get a full typing experience. So you, the no look typing is really important for any notebook, but I think it's really appreciated for something like this. And if you could look really closely above the display, you'll see a VGA webcam. It's almost hidden here. And to the left and right of the display, you have the built-in speakers. So you have stereo speakers on a device this size. Um, give you a quick tour of the rest of the device. Starting underneath the keyboard, we have a relatively good touchpad. It's nice and wide and you have a built-in scroll zone over here. And flanking the touchpad area you have two touchpad buttons or two mouse buttons. This arrangement is a little bit awkward for us and it's not quite a deal breaker but it's something you're definitely going to have to get used to and I think for the most part you're going to be doing a lot of clicking just on the touchpad itself. So let's start with some of the other design features. So on the left hand side you have a VGA port which is good for hooking up to a full-size display or presentations if you're giving you know, PowerPoints on the road. See a little fan here. We did notice that um, in our test so far that the bottom of the unit gets a little bit warm, um, but not disturbingly so. You also have a powered USB port that could be used for optical drives, as well as a headphone and mic jack. Up front, you have two pretty cool uh, lit buttons. One is for power. One is for toggling the Wi-Fi connection, and in terms of wireless, you have um, 802.11abg Wi-Fi as well as Bluetooth. But you have Bluetooth for the higher-end model, and ours starts at uh, this particular configuration is a pretty steep 749. But we'll go through the specs in a little bit. On the right-hand side is a really another really welcome feature. You have a Express card slot that you can add a mobile broadband card in. So this could be a really nice machine for, for bloggers, uh, as well as anyone that wants to do work on the road and doesn't want to hunt for a hotspot. You also have an SD card slot, which is really nice for um, you know, swapping in pictures from your digital camera. The second USB port over here, ethernet and power. So you, you might notice the little bit of a bulge on the bottom of this system, and that's because we have the six cell battery the standard battery is three cell, but with the six cell, you're going to get four hours of battery life, which isn't a lot. But so for us, this is sort of a necessary uh, option that that people should be uh, splurging for. We're going to try to get final pricing on that later. So that's it for the physical design. Um, one other thing that's that's kind of cool is that the keyboard itself has a Dura Key finish, which means that over time, you know, even if you're pounding on this a lot. The, uh, there won't be a lot in the way of wear and tear. So as far as the specs go, we have a 1.6 gigahertz VIA processor, and uh, in our test, a lot of the uh, our applications are open pretty quickly, and uh, we've had a pretty good time web surfing on this because of the, uh, the high resolution of the 8.9 inch panel. We also get, with this particular configuration, a 120 gigabyte hard drive running at 7200 RPMs, with, which for us is a little bit of overkill. We would definitely go with maybe the same size running at 5400 RPMs or maybe, maybe even a, a smaller size just so you can save on price, but also battery life because, again, you're getting four hours here. We have to complete our tests, but uh, definitely don't necessarily need 7200 RPMs on a, on a system that's uh, really meant more for content delivery as opposed to content creation. Uh, we also have two gigabytes of RAM, which I think is welcome, especially for a system that's running, in this case, um, you know, Vista business. And, but there are going to be other options for operating systems. You're going to have uh, Vista Basic at the low end uh, on the Windows side, but there's also going to be a 499 configuration 
of this particular system that's going to be running Linux. Uh, the trade-off there for that system, uh, you know, even though you're getting a, a really affordable cost in the range of the EPC, <clears throat> you're going to you're going to be saddled with four gigabytes of RAM. I mean, I'm sorry, a four gigabyte SSD drive. So you're not, not going to have a lot in the way of storage. But we think overall that the Windows system is going to sell a lot better uh, just because it's a more mainstream OS. But we definitely would like to see uh, the Linux system once that comes through. So that's pretty much it for this particular look at the HP Compaq Mini Note 2133. We'll be putting this system through our paces and we are going to bring you our test results very soon.